Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today, and today we're going to be previewing the Houston Astros regular season game 19 as the Astros match up against the Atlanta Braves for a second game of a three game series after a 6 to 1 loss yesterday, which ended the Astros' two game winning streak. Was that? No, that was that the Astros tied their longest winning streak of the season. I was going to say, was that the Astros' longest winning streak of the season? But they've had uh, two two game winning streaks this season. So they they won two in a row against the Rangers twice. That's that's their two game winning streaks this season. Their two other wins are against the Blue Jays and then their other win is against the, or yeah, two wins are against the Blue Jays. Two two wins are against the Blue Jays. Four wins are against the Rangers and uh, the only winning streaks the Astros have are two two game winning streaks against the Rangers. So, uh I mean the Astros they played all right yesterday. It's just not like they had a bad game. It was another, you know, it was another circumstance where the Astros it was a close game for most of the ball game, and then late innings, either eighth or ninth inning, the Astros, one of their relievers or their closer, Josh Hader, gives up a lot of runs. That was the case yesterday, where Josh Hader gives up four runs in the ninth inning, and it was a two-one ball game going into the ninth. So it's not like this was a crushing defeat for the Astros. Like some of those Royals game that you know, some of those Royals games that we saw, the Astros just completely got their ass kicked. But in this game, that simply wasn't the case. They pitched well up until Josh Hader came into the game in the ninth. Guys like Spencer Argati, who yes gave up ten two runs, but at the same time, I thought he pitched well uh, for a rookie. Going four innings, getting five strikeouts, only giving up two runs and four hits. I thought he pitched well in his second start after his first start was a definite struggle. He did all right. And then they had guys like Rafael Montero come out of the bullpen, and he looked really good in almost two innings of work. Brandon Bray looked good in an, 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 an inning and one-third of an inning. So I thought some of their guys out of the bullpen looked really good, like Abreu and Montero. And, um, yeah, so let's get into uh, this game as the Astros try to bounce back and get a win and improve to 7-12. and 12. But, all right, let's go over what this lineup looks like. There is not, there are not a lot of changes to yesterday's lineup. The only change that you will see is Jake Myers is in the lineup, which he was not yesterday. Dubon was in the lineup at center field. And also, Jose Abreu is out of the lineup, and John Singleton will be playing first base today. So let's get into it. Here's the lineup. At first, at you know, batting first at second base, Jose Altuve. He's had three straight three hit games. Can he continue that and make it a fourth straight game? That would be crazy. Jose, I think I said this last night after you know I did when I did my post game. I know the Astros haven't been a great team so far this year, but I think Altuve has to be an early candidate for MVP in the American League just because of the fact of how good he is hitting the baseball right now. The Astros are one of the best hitting teams in baseball, even though the, they're what their record shows at six and twelve. He's batting over four hundred at four hundred three right now. Uh, the previous game before yesterday, he had a two home run game with another hit. Altuve has been playing great baseball for the Astros currently, and I think he should be an early candidate for MVP in the American League. But then at two, you have DH Jordan Alvarez. At three, you have right field Kyle Tucker. At four, you have Alex Bregman at their base playing his second game back. And then at five, you have Yanner Diaz, catcher. Six, Jeremy Pena, shortstop. Seven, John Singleton, first base. And then eight, Chas McCormick, left field. Nine, center field, Jake Myers. And your starting pitcher is Hunter Brown. I like this lineup. I mean, I, I'm i someone who has not really liked John Singleton in the past, but this season he is hitting the baseball well. He's batting 250. He's making nice contact on the ball. And he has been... 10, maybe 15 times better than than Jose Abreu has been. So um, I'm fine with John Singleton starting. I would rather see someone like Victor Caratini in the lineup because I know both him and Yiner Diaz can play first base. And Caratini has hit the ball excellent this year for the Astros. But I don't mind John Singleton because I think you could find anybody on the, the – the only player that I think that could not do better right now that is on this team – Hitting wise, that couldn't that can't do better than Jose Abreu is Greg Kessinger, and maybe if he played every day, he could be better than Jose Abreu has been so far. I I just don't think he I just don't think he would, but I think anybody in the lineup would be better than Jose Abreu right now besides Greg Kessinger, in my opinion. Um, 
And there are multiple there are multiple other players that can play first base if you want to remove Jose Abreu permanently from this from this lineup. You can put and John Singleton at first, who's done well this season, batting two fifty. You can put Cartini at, at at first base, who's batting over three hundred this year and has done really good when he has started or as a pinch hitter. Look, I don't know how many people are gonna like this, but remember. Yanner catcher Yanner Diaz played first base a little bit last year. He can play that first base position if you want him to. There are so many other options at first base. I know the Astros have explored this potential option. Mauricio Dubon at some point might play first for the Astros. So there are so many other options for the, this Astros team at first base with Dubon, John Singleton, and Yanner Diaz and Victor Caratini. There's no if, if Jose Abreu is going to keep struggling like he is right now. There's no reason to keep him in the lineup. I think he's made some nice defensive plays. Like he had a really nice double play defensively yesterday. But there's no reason to keep him in the lineup with his offensive struggles. I think he is a right now. I think he is a a waste of a player in the lineup. Especially this team has been one of the best hitting teams in baseball. They have their top two in hits out of all MLB teams. They're top five in home runs out of all teams. They are top five in RBIs that of all teams. So I think Jose Abreu is a waste in this lineup because I think this, this team has a lot more potential. Let me your thoughts and peace out. Go Astros.